Welcome, dear friends. Pastor Dave here, December 15th, 2011, talking about the year 2011 being a year of signs and wonders and Bible prophecy. I want to take a moment of your time, a very short moment, and talk to you about what seems to be the whole talk on YouTube today and the Internet, and that is Comet Lovejoy, as it makes its kamikaze plunge towards the sun today. Now, I am not here to sensationalize this at all or my channel, but I want to get your perspective on a few things. Now, some are trying to make a connection between uh, the events of these migratory birds uh, mistaking Walmart parking lots and football fields as ponds and lakes and water and diving into the ground. Also in London, I just brought you the video this morning, hundreds and hundreds of apples falling out of the heavens for uh, no apparent explanation other than a vortex of wind. You know what kind of wind it would take to cause such an event to happen? A mighty, a mighty, mighty wind. And I believe both events, the birds crashing to the ground and the apples falling from the heavens are biblical signs and wonders. But I don't believe they're connected with Comet Lovejoy. What worries me and it's not to create fear, because if you uh, if you are saved, you have no spirit of fear. There's no reason to fear anything. But what does grab my attention are these birds uh, flying, uh, using their radar off course and crashing into the ground, and these apples falling from the heavens. Could it be a sign of something to come? Talking about the poles uh, shifting the plates. Uh, are we looking at a major, major earthquake on the horizon? Now, I'm just wondering, we've had a lot of major earthquakes as of late. Major, major earthquakes. Seven plus magnitudes, uh, six plus magnitude earthquakes. Maine is getting earthquakes. Are we looking at a major, major one? 9.0 or higher. And are these just warning signs? The Heavenly Father trying to warn us of what is to come. Now, what damage can this giant, it's the width of two football fields, this Comet Lovejoy, called a Sun Grazer Comet, as it grazes or does a nosedive, talk about the birds doing a nosedive, into the sun. Will it vaporize before it hits the sun? And what will these vapors uh, cause? What damage will they cause? And if the comet does collide with the sun and crash into the sun, talk about solar flares. What will the outcome be? And what is the possibility? And that's my question today. I'm going to put a video in the description box below. I always, always provide you with a link. And it has Soho on there where you can play. Hit the play button. You can actually uh, keep track of this comet as it makes its approach. It's nosedive into the sun today. But let me remind you, it's twice the size of a football field. It's a very, very gigantic comet but it's made of ice crystal. And will it survive long enough to do any damage at all? So I'm not, um, I don't want to blow this out of proportion. I don't want to sensationalize uh, this event at all. And I don't want to downplay it either because I don't, I'm not a scientist or a meteorologist. I don't know um, how much of this comet can survive the intensity of the sun. Now, there is a chance, a possibility, and it's in the article below, that uh, it may be visible as uh, we approach sundown this evening. But please do not look directly up at the sun without some form of uh, protection. Ultraviolet rays are very, very dangerous. I, I just as much uh, rather you don't look at it at all. But I don't want to sensationalize this event, but I don't want to downplay it either. Um, let me hear your perspective. What do you think the outcome will be if this does take a collision course with the sun? Talk about solar flares and solar storms. This is a very large comet, and I think we need to be concerned. I'm your watchman on the wall, and I watch for the signs in the heavens, the signs in Bible prophecy. And I report back what I find. 
And I'm not so sure about this comet Lovejoy. There are a lot of things are taking place around the world today, like never before. I'm going to put the link below. Again, you can watch its trajectory as it does a kamikaze dive towards the sun today. And this should take place around sundown, sunset uh, this evening sometime. Big comet plunges toward the sun. Comet Lovejoy, C-2011 W3, is diving into the sun and furiously vaporizing as it approaches the stellar surface. Um, again, you'll be able to watch. You'll be able to uh, go to Soho here and watch uh, Comet Lovejoy as it approaches. This is without any doubt the biggest, largest sun grazing, grazing comet that Soho has ever, ever seen, says Comet researcher Carl uh, Badams of the Naval Research Lab in Washington, D.C. And it is twice, it's going to go on to tell you, it is twice the size, the width of a football field, a true football field. Um, so I'm going to put the link below again. There's a small chance, very small, that it may be, it may be visible with the naked eye. Please do not, without some sort of protection, just look up at the sky as the sun is setting. From what I understand, it's going to put off a, a, a wild, a wild light show. The sun will get very, very bright. But will the sun turn dark? That's what I want to ask you. What damage can this do? It's, again, it's a Comets hit the sun all the time and they vaporize, but not not a comet of this size. This is very, very large and very, very old, old, old comet. Put the link below so you have the link. You can watch uh, and you can keep track of Comet Lovejoy as it makes its approach to the sun today. What do you think? Will it survive? And if it does, what is the world in for? Leave me comments. God bless.